Hello, everyone, and peace of the Lord to all of you. Uh, today, our topic is about cult and what cult leaders they share. Uh, in the same time, we are going to examine if uh, Muhammad, peace upon him, he was a cult leader or he was really a prophet. Now, my Skype is already open and any Muslim can call me immediately to share with us in this topic and he's more than welcome. Cult leaders. You know, uh, if you search in the internet, you will find many, many famous names uh, in the West or in the East. And, uh, you know, they have a special kind of a charisma because in order to be a leader anyway, you have to be able to control people around you. And that's why you are called a leader. Otherwise, I mean, why people even would listen to you? So you have to be special somehow. Special in intelligence, special in the way you talk, special in the way you convince. Uh, otherwise, nobody will listen. And mm, let us say, nobody can fail into your trap. Those who do a, a scam business, they are very special too. Because in order to scam you, he have to be able to make you believe that he is uh, genuine. So the key point of uh, of making somebody believe in a cult leader is, uh, you know, you know, to to be convincing that he is not a cult leader or he is not a scammer. <clears throat> People send me messages. I don't know even why. If you don't answer, then they get upset. If you are a Christian, don't call me. As simple as that. My Skype, guys, is open for Muslims. Please, don't text me, don't say hi, don't say hello. Unless it is something really important, you need a help, special help. Not something I can answer you in the text. Uh... There is a person whose name is uh, David Korsh. And this person is very famous in the state as a cult leader. And I noticed that all those cult leaders, you know, they share one thing. Uh, they are the center. They want to take and have some privilege between their followers. Which means he don't treat himself equal to the people who he claimed that he is their leader he don't claim to be his uh, their servant uh, or maybe he claimed but yet his action is different from what he claimed and always the privilege they have is either about sex and money and power or it can be about sex and money to come and anyway he is a leader he control uh, let us say the warehouse of money so today we are going, you know, we will come Muslims to call us and to tell us if they can prove to us that Muhammad was not a perfect cult leader who he take advantage of his followers sexually, physically, mentally, money, everything. So if there is if there is a Muslim here who can call us right now, I know that this is a sensitive topic. I don't think the Muslims really will dare to talk about it because it is really, um, they, they cannot refute us in this field. They knew that their prophet is a cult leader. And we are here to challenge friendly and nicely. No name calling, no insult. Now, for sure, we don't accept Muhammad to be respected, but that will not change the fact that for you, you respect him because he is your prophet. For me, he is a cult leader. And a cult leader simply is just another word for a scammer, liar, criminal. All right? So, who is the Muslim? He want to take uh, a step and call us. 
and let us see what they can say uh, somebody sent me a link of a video of a Muslim making fun of me because the way I say words in English uh, my friend uh, English is not my first language and make fun of yourself a praying to your God but yet you do not know what you are saying to him in a language you don't understand which is my language the Muslims they cannot refute me so they say oh look what Christian Prince how he pronounced words this is not my first language and you should be thankful I'm not talking with my first language because I'm torturing Islam with my let us say funny English so what if I am using my first language imagine what he what I can do what about making fun of your prophet saying that the sperm coming from the backbone this is not about a guy who do not know how to pronounce words because he learned a new language I'm not born in America to speak like every American so they are very silly and they have nothing to say and you can make fun as you wish yet you cannot debate me and you cannot refute me and imagine my English is funny and tens of thousands listen to me and leave Islam so what if my English is perfect very silly they have nothing but bankruptcy what about your God Allah you need to go to school and learn Arabic and we can show you tons of mistakes in the Quran what about your prophet who made the Quran saying stupid things in the Quran it doesn't fit with Arabic to the point the Muslim today they try to make the grammar of the Arabic fit with the Quran not the opposite just to cover the mistakes which is supposedly God made I told you before when uh, uh, when I made the, what it's called mistake in, in a grammar in Arabic in the Middle East the teacher he start calling me names donkey stupid idiot even a six years old kid he will not do such a mistake and he was humiliating me for the last 40 minutes almost the class is over and this guy he, he was waiting for this mistake so he can humiliate me and I was listening and I'm smiling and I did it in purpose actually you know they cannot you cannot outsmart me you have no idea you are down even when I was a kid I was beating those who they claim to be your teachers so the guy he humiliated me for more than 40 minutes called me all kind of names from donkey to stupid to an idiot to a garbage where's your brain do you have a brain and at the end he says look 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 he is even smiling as if I said nothing about all what I called him those names until now he is smiling don't you have a feeling do you want to say something I said yes sir I want to say something he said what I said I wrote the word exactly as it is in the Quran the second I said this is how I wrote the word as it is in the Quran the potato he shrank he starts shivering like a little cat in a cold shower and he said uh, uh, um, yes actually actually he's right he's right this is the perfect way to write the word absolutely this is correct you are right absolutely this is the best way to write the word he was shivering because now the kids will go to their home and they will say that our teacher he said the one who write the word like the Quran is a donkey is a stupid is an idiot is a is a I mean he, he called me all the names in the book the second I said this is how it is in the Quran suddenly I became a hero and he asked all the students to clap give me a hand a second ago I was a donkey stupid idiot six years old will not do such a mistake and I did it in purpose the stupid donkey he forgot that this is how it is written in the Quran but he's right it's wrong a kid should not make such a mistake but this is the hypocrisy of this cult the second you say it is the same as in the Quran you are right he did not even go to check if this is how it is in the Quran or not and not only that when the class is over he closed the door he did not let the student get out because he need to explain himself now for 40 minutes calling me names this guy he was waiting for the whole year to take revenge from me he hate me because always I get him busted so he said to himself finally 
Finally, this guy, he made a mistake. I'm going to humiliate him. <laughs> Finally. You have no idea you are talking to who. You have no idea. So now, make fun as you wish, as you can. But still, you cannot debate me. And those who claim to be scholars of yours, they run away from me like rabbits. And the one who call me, most of them, they have no idea what they are talking about. And actually, even when we get a shake, and we debated many of them, you will find that the shaky shake, they have no answer still. And actually, it's a lot easier to debate a shaky shake from debating a normal Abdul. Because a shaky shake, he cannot deny what we say because we can get him busted easy. Now, I'm going to use uh, a rule which is exists in the Quran about how we can discover a cult leader. I think this is, will be fair and the Muslims will not be upset. Right? I mean, how a Muslim can be upset? Look like we have somebody want to call. I just received this message saying that Christian Prince was a Muslim, but after watching your video and apostate prophet and David Wood, I am an ex Muslim now. I am from Pakistan. I'm not going to show his name. Hold on. I I ask him first, you know, are you a Muslim? And then he sent me this message, as you see. <clears throat> and the message saying the following. We will read it for you as it is without showing any private information christian prince i was a muslim but after watching your videos and apostate prophet and david wood i am an ex-muslim now uh, i am from pakistan and all my family members are muslims i need your help in order to prove them wrong etc my friend watch my videos and learn and this is how you can prove them wrong however you can invite your family to call me and tell them, prove this guy wrong. Make it short. What happened to the text under your video? You said always you would never have deleted. What text? I don't delete the, the text. I hide the video or I delete the videos. The whole video is gone. All my videos, I say always, keep, you know, download my videos. So you can have them and you can reserve them. Now, uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Uh, okay. <laughs> Any Muslim? Anyone? Nobody? Hmm. Hmm. 
Interesting. Why? Why the Muslims are not willing to defend their prophet that he is not a cult leader? Are they convinced? Obviously they are. Otherwise, you tell me why. I thought, like many Muslims will be fighting over calling me to prove me wrong. Anyone is interested? Remember, my English is funny, so easy you will beat me. And you can make fun of my English. Hello? My Skype is on. And I'm waiting for you. Anyway, <laughs> let us go to the Quran. And see what the Quran says about cult leaders and how we can discover who is a cult leader. So the Muslim will not say, I am not being unjust and I am not using Islamic standard. Can they? They cannot. Chapter 36, verse number 21. It says, اِتَّبِعُوا مَنْ لَا يَسْأَلَكُمْ أَجْرًا وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ Please don't text me and stop texting me, otherwise I will block you. If you are a Christian, the only one who can text me and call me is a Muslim. Literally. I don't have my Skype to chat. I have thousands of people on my Skype. So if everybody says to me, hello, how are you? I mean, this is really silly. You are just disturbing me. In this chapter, it says, and this is your Muslim translation. Follow those who ask of you no fees and who are rightly guided. Now, in Arabic, it doesn't say really fees. It says wages. But anyway, this is what the translator he come with. He squeezed his head and he come with fees. I'm so glad he did not come with the word fleas because it might happen in some translators. We can change translation as you wish. All of it confirm, in case you don't speak Arabic, that the Quran saying, ask those who don't ask you for a return, wages, money, etc., favor, all right? And something for themselves. Can we Muslims practice this rule in the Quran on Muhammad? Who want to take the challenge to see if Muhammad broke the command he just mentioned in his book and he took advantage of his followers and he asked for reward? Anyone? I was expecting from the beginning that there is no Muslim will call us in such a topic because obviously he cannot defend such a thing. That's why I say this is a very important video. That please don't forget after we finish to download and to share. Every one of us, he was given a gift and that gift is called the brain. Some of us, we use it. Some of us, we abuse it. Someone, we don't even know we have it. Because simply, we decide to go in, you know, denial, or let us say, using the brain sometimes is really hurtful. Actually, even me, sometimes I wish I'm, like, I can take a break and be a fool for two days maybe, or maybe a week. So at least I can sleep. You know, I mean, even when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking, I don't know how can I turn off this brain. Uh, 
even you go to drink coffee somewhere you are thinking about a serious topic I mean there's nothing really you cannot switch off from uh, from serious to silly you know like sometimes silly can be maybe a really like a, give you some relief you know what I mean but I don't know how to do it how in the word Muhammad he say in his Quran in chapter 36 Follow those who ask for no reward for themselves, and the whole Quran is about reward for Muhammad. Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim here? How the Quran says, follow those who ask not. I mean, the Quran is so clear, Abdul. Which means if somebody asks for his own privilege, then you should not follow him. How many privilege your prophet he have? Who is a brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Look at them. They are so quiet. Right away, a cult leader, he claim that he is favorable, like he have a favor by God. He had, and he favor him always in what money, sex, power, power what like me authority. He been favored always. You see, when we go in the Bible, we will see that Jesus he told his apostles when they said to him they refused to let him wash their feet. I mean, you are our Lord. You want to wash our feet? He made it clear: if you don't let me do it, you don't belong to me. He made it clear if you want to be the first you have to be the last if you want to be the master you have to be the servant now Muhammad he gave himself the name the servant of Allah but was he the servant of Allah or it was the opposite all the Quran proved that Allah was the servant of Muhammad let me show you how we can prove that even from the Quran uh, sorry from from witnesses first hand witnesses from Muhammad uh, in a household his favorite wife Aisha she got him busted there's a very you know famous hadith where she said to him that I see that your Lord has to satisfy your desire Muhammad Muhammad is not the servant of his Lord, for he is the Lord of Allah. Allah is just a name he used to control the followers of his cult. So if anyone he tried to oppose his authority, right away Muhammad, he used Allah. Allah said, God said. It seemed to me that your Lord has to satisfy your desire what desire Aisha she was talking about women they are coming to the prophet and they are wishing to sleep with him I felt jealous when a woman who offered themselves women offered themselves to Allah messenger one of the biggest privilege of the prophet that women can offer themselves for free to have sex with him and Muhammad he made a chapter in the Quran about it any women she want to have sex with the Prophet she is welcome this is only a privilege to Muhammad isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a big big cult leader See, what this will do to Islam, 
if we go in the Quran David Korsh and all other cult leaders they used to sleep with women who they are part of their cult they sleep with him a him not like everybody him you have to make the leader happy his penis have to be happy otherwise Allah will not be happy all of them they share one God satanic God look what Muhammad he said He claimed always that Allah he gave him license and what is the license look at this license O Prophet we have made lawful for you your wives and the one you paid them their money not not dowries this is a lie it's their wages and those whom your right hand possess and those has given as a, thee as a spoil and these they are the daughter of the thine uncle and the father side and all of this list and then at the end here it says and any believing women open invitation for sexuality and sex privilege and any believing women she desire to give herself into the prophet and here they add that if the prophet desire to ask her for a marriage what a big fat liar what is the word marriage it says if the prophet he desire to if her in arad an nabiyu an yastankihuha khalisatan laka min dun al mu'minin a privilege only to you to F her only a privilege for thee only <laughs> a privilege why why the prophet he need such a privilege what that will do to Islam hmm? he is a prophet okay Allah sent him that's fine and now he want to lead mankind into God that's wonderful but why women they can offer their vagina to the prophet and this is a privilege only to thee please don't don't uh, dot the Muslims admins otherwise I will dot you yourself let the Muslims express themselves please put yourself in their panties and see how hard it is to be a Muslim Who is a Muslim want to explain to us what is the purpose of such a privilege? Hmm? Muslims who they are in the text, you don't dare to call me, at least say something to us in text. What is the purpose of this privilege? Look at them. They have nothing to say. What that will do to Islam? What that what that what that have to do with worshiping the oneness of God, the God of the black stone? The God of the black stone. Okay. My friend, the mute uh, YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Okay. You are a Muslim, my friend. Mute YouTube and call me back. You hang up.
any Muslim. Do we have any Muslim? Okay, then my, my friend, don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Please give me a do me a favor. Listen to me carefully. I am here to debate the Muslims, not the Christians. So there is no need for you to call me if you are a Christian. It's simple. You are just disturbing me. So now, who is a Muslim is willing to tell us what is the purpose of this privilege about sexuality to the Prophet? Who is the one who will get the benefit if we make the private part of Muhammad happy? Allah, Jibreel, the universe, the moons, the stars, why Allah he need to send such a verse saying Muhammad you can if everybody we gave you an if license you are a certified ifer Muhammad I am God and I say to you if any women in your way what this have to do with God and you give us headache about debating about the Trinity. What about we debate about the privilege of your prophet penis? You don't want to believe in the Trinity. No problem. You want to believe that Allah is the true God. No problem. But how he can be the true God, but yet he make a privilege for a penis of a man. And remember, we are using a standard which is mentioned by the mouth of Muhammad himself. It is Muhammad who said, follow those who ask no wages for themselves, no reward for themselves. Muhammad said that in the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 21. And by the way, do you know who is the one who said that sentence supposedly? Anyone knows in the Quran? Somebody saying to me, fake Christians, why they don't debate Ramazan life? You idiot, we debate Ramazan life. Let him call me. The coward, he don't dare. He said to me, I will pay you. I will pay for your ticket to come to Germany. Abdul, why you need me to come to Germany? First of all, if you have money to donate, stop taking wages from the government of Germany. You have no job to do. Secondly, if you have extra money, go and see the Muslims are dying in Somalia and in Syria. Muslims are crossing the seas. So why you want to pay Christian prince to fly over to Germany? Suddenly you have money? Hypocrite liars, they knew I'm not going to fly anywhere. So they challenged me to debate them in person. You do not need to debate me in person. You can debate me now, right here. A bunch of cowards, potato. And your guy, his name is Tarzan, not Ramazan. We are begging for Abdul to call us. It cost him no penny for free. So tell your Tarzan if he dare, I am here. They knew I go nowhere and I will not go. So we make a challenge will never happen. This is the purpose. If you are a man, come here. Why? You can answer me only if I go there? Call me now and get me busted. This is a cowardly response. And now, why you are asking me to debate Tarazan? What about you debate me and you call Tarazan to call you together? 
I'm willing to take 10 Tarzan together. Tarzan number one, Tarzan number two, Tarzan number three, and I will give you the privilege to attack me. Any Muslim? And suddenly they are so quiet. A second ago they have a hero, his name is Tarzan. Now they don't have Tarzan no more. Now, if you see this verse in the front of us, you will not believe this verse. Who is the one who said that verse? Anyone remember who is the one supposedly he said this verse? Who remember? Anyone remember? Who is the one who said that verse supposedly according to the Quran? No, not Muhammad. Those are the disciples of Jesus. It is Paulus or Paul and John and Peter. According to the Quran, there's a three messengers sent by Allah and they are the messengers of Jesus. And they told the city they came to, follow those who ask you for no wages. So even if there is something decent in this book, it is coming from the tongue of the followers of Jesus. You believe it? <clears throat> Anyone? So how the Quran says, follow those who ask no wages, and then Muhammad, he asked all the wages for him. The Quran saying, Muhammad, he been favor in the spoil. If we attack a house, Muhammad will get the big TV. You take the small TV. Muhammad, he made a verse saying, the fifth from every attack is to him. Al-Khumsu lillahi wa rasuluh. Why? So why you say to us in chapter 36 that follow those who ask no wages for themselves? Hmm? Do you see it? Chapter 8, verse number 41. And you know, Allah speaking supposedly, Muhammad always, he used God to confirm his share it's not me Muhammad who want to take the fifth from every attack no no it's Allah he said so Allah said so I mean you cannot even discuss that no more that's it Allah he said and no it's not a discussion here and no that whatever you take as a spoil of war lo a fifth therefore for Allah and his messenger Any Abdul? The Muslims, they spend the day and the night and they lie to us and they say, Muhammad, before he died, he borrowed money from a Jew and he gave him even his weapon. Who in the world want to believe such a lie? Muhammad, before he died, he have a huge army. He have kingdom and there is no Jews left. He killed them all. Who, who is the one who want to believe in such a lie? Anyone, he is a Christian, he texts me, I will block you in his Skype. Only Muslims, they can call me. I already I blocked like five Christians. Who is a Muslim? He dare to call me. Do we have any Tarzan here? 
thousand the Muslims they challenge the Christian Prince in their channels but they don't okay give me your Skype I will call you don't call me in my channel I will call you in yours is that fine with you I will call you your majesty so look what happened from the Quran we prove that Muhammad is nothing but a cult leader and we use only the Quran as a guideline we did not use the Bible or a book which Muslims don't agree with the Quran says it clearly follow those who ask for no reward for themselves Muhammad he asked for a special treatment in the money Muhammad he made verses about he have a special treatment for his penis for sure we have to admit if you are a prophet of Allah your penis should be treated with a special treatment but guess what Muhammad he claimed that this is a special treatment only for him I send my resume to Allah saying to him can I be a prophet so I can get such a reward like can you make a verse Allah for me says any uh, women she live in Las Vegas she can give herself to the Prophet especially if she is beautiful what do you think why Muhammad he need a treatment for his penis what is holy about that why the privilege of the Prophet is about money and sex hmm? The funny the Muslim they keep saying Christian Prince show us your face look like you guys are a bunch of uh, You know horny people. I don't know what's wrong with you. Why do you want to see my face? Do you see even the face of your prophet? Did you see the face of your Allah even your Allah on the Quran says he never spoke to anyone except from behind the veil So what's wrong with you? Allah himself he's speaker from behind the burqa Unless you are saying that the one who speak from behind the burqa is a coward Do you see it? This is Quran chapter 42 verse number 51 Now we go back to zero Who is the Muslim would like to call us until now we have a zero hero a zero hero not a single zero hero would like to call us to defend how a prophet of God he himself in the Quran says ask for no privilege ask for no reward is those who do you follow the one who don't ask for that if somebody asks for that you don't follow this is the guideline of the Quran not mine so how you Muslims follow Muhammad Unless Allah here he made a mistake. It don't ask me to explain the difference between this and that now because we have a topic, please. Any Abdul? Uh, we have a free a free three Z. He said he put the volume up in his car Once I went uh, I was in the Philippines and You know they picked me up from the airport and they turned the stereo and Then I am talking now those guys they are picking me up. They knew I'm a Christian prince So they said how you are here, but you are talking there <laughs> How you are here with us in the car, but you are talking there. I said, I didn't know what is that. 
they said well this is a this is a mp this guy he drive this car he have my videos as mp3 and he have them in a flash drive so he played them in his car you know he said when i when i drive you know uh uh you know like it's funny sometimes they say people they say to him why you are always laughing inside the car like they see him from outside they say hello he's laughing laughing he said why you are laughing he said i do not know what to say to them how funny how stupid this cult is it's my best entertainment it's a privilege my friend to be a prophet of allah privilege and the privilege is about many things i will show you some of unbelievable privilege of the prophet of islam this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan not a christian website Sadly, we have to switch to the Arabic version of it because we cannot find translation for Al Qurtubi here. We will go to chapter of Al Ahzab 33 and we will go to verse number 50. The privilege Al Qurtubi. The privilege of the Prophet is written in the book of Al-Qurtubi. You will not believe. Actually, let me open a different website better than this one because it shows all in one page. And maybe this one is fine. Hold on. It is yours maybe because... Uh, the design of this page is short and you have to flip one two three you know as you see here and i don't like that let us use the saudi government website all right this is tafsir al-qurtubi And I challenge any Tarzan from Germany, from Symphony, from the bathroom, from anywhere to call us and tell me I am a liar. There is a privilege for the Prophet. What is the privilege for the Prophet? They are in front of us. Here it's reported 19 privilege for Prophet Muhammad. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number <laughs> all of them, they are about six. All of them is about sex, and then he jumped to money. But one of the privilege, Muhammad, he claimed for himself in this here, is this. <clears throat> Let's see. If the prophet his eyes fall into a woman, her husband he must divorce her. Is that possible? Is that possible that God he favor his prophet that if his eyes fall into a woman, a married woman? 
and this is the privilege number 10 if the prophet his eyes fall into a woman it's a must for her husband to divorce her immediately so the prophet he can if her read with me what the privilege of the prophet the best of the booty number one the best of the fifth of the booty to have more than four wives to if a woman by giving herself just she give herself he if her there is no need to marry or anything just psh, to do that to if a woman without even a permission of her parents to if a woman without paying her do worry to if a woman even in the time of what it's called haram state where like you know if you are doing uh, uh, certain rituals you cannot do nikah which mean if in a woman but for the prophet he can do so number nine he can take an oath to his wives and he can break it this is number nine privilege number ten if his eyes fall into a woman her husband he must divorce her immediately so the prophet he can if her shall i continue so be honest muslims how this can be a prophet of God and why Allah he gave Muhammad the privilege as we showed you this is not the Christian Prince book and please don't forget to ask the Muslims in Germany in tomato potato to make a video to expose a Christian Prince here we go I am going to post the link in front of everybody and you can use Google translation to translate Now, how to find where we are talking? That maybe will be difficult for you, but I think we can make it easier. You see, from the end of the page, we count line two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Uh, sorry, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. Okay. Um, and you start from this section. Actually, you count 25 and then you take this aisle, all of it. All of this is the privilege of the Prophet. I am a prophet of God who only want to serve God, but I want you women, if I see your wife, to divorce her immediately because I am a prophet and I have a duty to fulfill, which is to sleep with your wife. Excuse me, I mean, you cannot say no to the prophet. He like your wife, bum. Your wife, she is walking by, she have a nice bum. And the prophet, he said to himself, oh no, Allah, he gave me a privilege. Anything I like, I have to take. Divorce your wife for me so I can F her. And obviously, this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Do we have any Muslim here want to say something? Hello. Hello. It is me you're looking for. Muhammad is the your wife is walking in front of Muhammad. Muhammad he say her bomb, and then he says hello. It's me you're looking for. I will order your husband to divorce you. 
so I can take you right now. Hello. The women, she would say, Oh, Prophet, but I have a husband, I'm married. Hello. Hello, Allah, he just told me that I can force him to divorce you so I can have boom, boom with you. Hello. The wife, she says then, Oh, Alhamdulillah, as long Allah, he said so, we have to do so. Husband, please divorce me so the Prophet can do boom, boom. And then the husband, he said to the Prophet, Prophet, for your sake, I will give you my wife. I sacrifice my mother and my father and my wife private part for you prophet and then the prophet he said to him hello because you are going to do so I promise you a corner lot in heaven and every day you will eat a barbecue hello I mean obviously Muhammad is a prophet of God who can deny this You know what? I am going to use Google translation. Because Muslim they might say to you, he's lying. I mean, like, let us use Google translation, peace upon him. I will go to Google translation. I know that Google translation is not really correct, but you know, it's better than nothing. Google. Translate. All right. Be my witness. I will copy and paste in the front of your eyes. I will copy. Uh, you know, Google don't allow like to copy too much text, so we will copy the first ten privilege. Copy. Bingo. Paste. Hello. Hello, look at the Google translation. The first class of sheep, <laughs> they translate the word magnam as ghanam. The first, the you know, Muhammad, he have the privilege. Oh, you know what? Let me copy from the beginning. I, 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 I missed because I want to show you. It says a privilege here. Hold on. Okay, we go to Google, take this, pause this. Okay, as what is for a principle for the Prophet of Allah, this is what the translation came with. It's 16 in the 16 group. The first, the class of the sheep, this is the first translation, the, 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 uh, the best of the spoil, not sheep. Second, uh, dominating five or five, you know, this is taking the fifth from every attack. Taking the fifth from every attack uh, to do connection. So he have a special connection to Allah when he pray. Fourth, the increase of four women. Muhammad, he have a privilege to have more than four women. Privilege only because Muhammad, he need more four. I mean, four is not enough. Look. Imagine yourself, you are a prophet of Allah, and you open to do teaching about Allah every day in YouTube. Do you think four women is enough for you? Absolutely not. One, she will be doing belly dancing, and one, she will make in hummus, and the other one, she is doing massage to your feet, and the other one, she will be doing massage to your, uh, I don't know what, I, but and that, here we go, we, we, we are done, we need more. A four is not enough so the prophet he have to have a privilege increase of four women muslim men they can have up only to four the prophet he don't have that limit come on he's a prophet of god are you kidding me the fifth of the marriage marriage as a gift marriage as a gift by the way this is false translation this is about a woman she give herself by saying take me Take me and he take her to if her without a guardian in Islam a woman she have to have a guardian 
approval which means her parent has her father or the adult male in the in the family number seven to have look at this translation marriage without a friendship <laughs> I mean this is funny marriage no marriage to F a woman without paying her wages Muhammad he have to get it for free you better know because by effing the Prophet you are doing a favor to Allah Allah get happy it's like a charity okay let us make it clear if in the prophet is a charity you give to Allah do you see it then having sex in the case of Ahram Muhammad he can go around the Kaaba and instead he can have sex the Muslim cannot do that a Muslim is allowed only to have sex with the goat or a cow and that will not disturb his Hajj only but not with his wife the prophet he can have that he can have sex with a human being and by the way if somebody want to say to me I'm lying about sex during the Hajj with the goat I will show you the reference it says it clearly that sex with an animal does not disturb the Hajj it's approved yet still number nine he can break the oath to his wives the translation here is funny so number nine privilege to Muhammad he can lie he can take an oath to his wives and the oath here by the way is about six Muhammad he took an oath if you go to chapter of At-Tahreen verse number one it says that Allah he said to him why you are forbidden to yourself what Allah gave make lawful for you what he made lawful for him Muhammad he claimed that when his wives they got him busted having sex would marry the copt in their bed and they have a strike against him and he took an oath so Allah he made a verse as usual Muhammad make the verse saying Allah told me why you are making such as a promise your oath is a broken so here we go Muhammad number nine that he can break his oath number 10 guys is number 10 clear I mean look Google was given a stupid translation and everything but in number 10 it come really perfect almost do you see what number 10 is saying if he sees his eyes on a woman which means if his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her and his marriage or between her marriage is dissolved Muslim do you see it and you are telling me that Muhammad is not a cult leader What do you say, Muslims? Look at the Muslims, not a single one there to call me. Where is Tarzan? Where is the nurse? Ali Dawa? Where is Samsi? Where is all those kids who have big mouth attacking me, but they don't dare to call me? Where is Mimi Hijab? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad taking advantage of his followers claiming that his God he gave him this advantage? Hello, I just saw your wife. Please divorce her and give me a five because I like to have six to with her before five. Hello. By the time I take a shower, your wife, she have to come to me because Allah made it lawful for me. Hello. Quran. I mean, that's it. Allah, he said, who can say no? Allah, he said, the, Allah, it's not the prophet. He said that. I mean, it's not. I am not the one is asking for that. It's Allah who said. That's what they will say to you. The question, why Allah say such a thing? What kind of Allah you have? He said that if a prophet, he saw a woman and she is married and he like her ass, he have the husband to divorce her so the prophet, he can enjoy her in bed. 
what that have to do with worshiping God and God you call him the oneness of God what this have to do with spreading Islam what this have to do with making me believe in one true God Somebody saying, is this channel from Christian Prince? My friend, he's next to me. Who is Christian Prince? Hello. It's me you're looking for. My name is Muhammad now, but it was not like that before. Hello. Even his name, he changed it just to fit. It's a privilege. From Qatham to Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. How Muhammad, he claimed to be a servant of God, but he called himself the praised one. If he is the praised one, who is the praised to? Allah? And then now, we have zero Abdul calling us. Zero. Hello? Anyone? <clears throat> By the way, for those who speak Spanish, our book in Spanish translation is finished. We are now doing the process of a proofreading. So we hope maybe by the end of the coming month, we will have the book out for people who speak Spanish. Very good news, right? And again, I'm really grateful for those who they are doing volunteer work translating my books. I cannot really thank them enough for what they do. So we pray for them. And uh, me, myself, I'm grateful for all those who support us in every mean, in every way. Those, you know, like you will notice here, there's a lot of great people. The Lord himself he is amazing. He always sent me in my way wonderful people. Who asked for no wages? By the way, a Muslim he says to me before, why you don't make your books for free? My friend, my books support me to make living. Reality is reality. Somebody have to pay for my internet, electricity. So I sell my books that I am not the same, that will not make me like Muhammad. I don't have a followers. I am not a cult leader. I am not saying if you buy my books, you go to heaven. There's millions of author and all of them, they sell their books. And me, myself, I need to support myself. So, uh, everyone, he need uh, some kind of support. But this support should not be about taking advantage of people and forcing them to do some things for you. Muhammad, he was not receiving here donation. A vagina is not a donation. The fifth from every attack is not a donation. It's a must. It's not even a question. If the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, it's not a donation. Even the husband, he have to divorce her. He like it or not, he have to give his wife to Muhammad. For me, it's very normal that I sell my books because I support myself. And this is my work. I did not get my books from the street. I spent my life studying. And you people are listening to me because of what I know, not because of what I do not know. But always the Muslims, they try to make an excuse. If you remember once, Abdul from Germany, he says that the Christian prince, he said, if somebody approve me wrong, he can get my books for free. I said, if somebody debate me and prove me wrong, prove me wrong by saying things to yourself, it's a lie. You did not do it. You have to call me and prove me wrong. Debate me. Can you? 
And then now I never saw a Muslim he can prove me wrong. And then now I never saw a Muslim he can defend his prophet. Yesterday we have a Muslim Abdul who deny what he said in two seconds. Once he says that Jibril was under Mary, and then he said that Jibril became a man and he became under Mary. And after less than three minutes, he said that it was not Jibril under Mary. They cannot even maintain their lies in the same conversation. And yesterday it was really hilarious in the video before where the Muslim Abdul, he said, Mary, she was a bread net for, uh, uh, and by the way, the Muslim, they make fun of the way I say bread net. She was a bread net, let me repeat it for you, bread net, bread net, for one second. One second. Hello. For one second, she was a bread net. And she delivered him after one second. Hello. <laughs> in order to defend the stupidity of the Quran they made Mary bread net for one second by the way this is always possible in Islam in case you do not know Muhammad he claimed that in the heaven of Allah there is what I call a microwave let me show you this hadith <clears throat> Uh, let's find it. Read with me carefully. Thank you for those who really they are making donation. I really appreciate you. But as you see, Muslims. People who make donation, we don't say to them you will go to heaven because you make a donation for a Christian prince. In Christianity, you cannot bribe God. Cult leader is the one who seek your money promising you heaven. I don't promise heaven to anyone. Me, myself, I am a sinner. Me, myself, I pray to God asking him for forgiveness. Muhammad is nothing but a scam and look here what Muhammad he said the believer when he desire a child in paradise he should carry him do you see what it says between two bracket guys I mean do you believe your eyes the Muslim Abdul Muhammad promising the Abdul in the heaven of Allah if he desire to have a baby he will be carrying the baby. Where? Abdul, do you have a womb? Muhammadan, do you have a womb? How you will be a bread And then it says, and the baby will be born and complete in less than an hour. As he desired. This is what I call the fastest microwave baby. But what is really driving me crazy here, you will deliver the baby from where? Hello? Hello, can you tell me where the baby will come out? Your baby now is complete. And now the baby is ready to come out. Hello? Where you will deliver the baby from? You will be carrying. Okay, how, hold on, hold on. So, is that a is that a version thing, or somebody have to do you? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? If a believer desire a child in paradise, look, look, look here. We have to take a note, brother. This is only happened in paradise, not. In Macy's I'm so glad that you mentioned that it's in paradise it's not on earth this is why we can accept this lie in paradise in paradise you will have this in paradise you will have that and but you know you will never see paradise anyway so Muhammad can make all kind of lies as he wish what the rest of the Arabic says 
Oh, well, you know the Arabic here. You see the translation here is funny. I mean, uh, look how long it is here in Arabic uh, because they are repeating the same thing and kind of trying like uh, explanation. By the way, in English here, where it says that in our this is not accurate in Arabic in Arabic language in the old days in, in the in the in nowadays the word uh, sa in Arabic is equal to one hour. But in the old days, one hour is like 15 to 20 minutes. So you will be delivering a baby, Muslim. Baby, 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 baby. Mr. Bain having a baby. Mr. Bain delivering a baby. He is going to be pregnant. Is that a prophet of God or Mr. Bain making a statement? Be honest with me, Muslims. Is that a prophet of God talking or Mr. Bean saying something? Hello? Do we have any Abdul? Any Tarzan wanna call us? How many of you promise to download this video and share it around? Let us see how many of you really promise to download this video. Are we going to download it? Please, because you see, if you notice, I don't even keep the videos on my channel. Because I'm not making the videos for me. I am sick of this cult. If I open my brain, I think I will find in every little tiny part of an inch tons of pages about Islam. So I'm not making them for me. It's for you, for your children, so you can be preserved and protected from such a stupid cult. The Muslim, they always try to present something to you is not there. The prophet, the amazing prophet, he died as poor. He died, yeah, right. The prophet, he died as poor, but yet his wife, she received tens of thousands of pieces of gold as gifts in her marriage day. Uh, memory. The prophet was very poor to the point he can and he have many houses full of slaves and women for sex and servant he is so poor how many of us can afford to have as an example 13 wives and 13 houses and every one of them she have a couple of maids and slaves i mean can, you can tell how poor he is you see I want to move from where I live. It's very cold and I'm really sick of it. But I wish. I think I need, I need to make a verse saying the fifth from every body income have to come to my pocket. And that will make me a lawful prophet of Allah. And that would make me able to buy 13 houses in the most beautiful areas in the world. And every house will have a couple of maids, uh, slaves. As the prophet, we cannot have maids. Haram, haram in Islam, maids, slaves, brother. We are very decent people. The prophet he freed the slaves, brother. How many slaves your prophet he die and yet he have them in his house? They say to you, do you know that the prophet he promised Bilal to go to heaven, the brother? Brother, do you know that Bilal, the prophet, he die and he's still a slave, brother? I mean, you promise him to go to heaven, but you don't free him, you idiot. Free the guy if you are brave. Why you even have slaves? How many slaves Jesus he have? How many servants he have? Guys, imagine, imagine if a human being today, he possess the power of Christ. And here I'm talking about just to process the, the, the uh, to process uh, to, to possess the, the power of healing. 
I mean, there is kings they will give everything they have to go back healthy again. There is kings they will pay everything they have in order to come back to life again, which is Jesus can do in a blink of an eye. How much money he can make, but he never ask anyone for money. He have no servants. He have no slaves. He washed the feet of his followers by his own hands. Yet we believe he is our God. Our God is humble. To be the first is to be the last. This is the guideline of the Messiah. The guideline of Muhammad to be the first is to be the first and the first in what? In money, in sex, in vagina, in penises. Even Muhammad, he said, he was the most weak man between all mankind. Anyone remember the hadith? I was the most weak person. For sure, the Muslim, they will say to you, it's weak, brother. It's weak. I mean, it's weak. By the way, weak is accepted anyway. And anyway, if it's weak, why you Muslims, you report it and you write it in your books? If, this is, if it's not true. However, we can prove it's true. Oh. Uh, Muhammad he said that he was the most weak person between all mankind in sex. And then he invoked Allah. And Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab. And after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. And I'm really, really, I feel jealous because I get the power only of 39 men. Almost, almost, I'm like the prophet, but sad. The prophet did beat me again. He got the power of 40 men. Hello? This story must be true. Let me show you the reference. Tabakat ibn Sa'd, volume number 10. You see it? The name of the book for those who speak Arabic. This is Google Books. Nothing from my pocket. At-Tabakat al-Kubra. Your Imam Ibn Sa'd. Volume number 10. The chapter is, or the volume is about women. Published in Cairo. Which means this is a new publishing. Now we go back. It says here. Mentioning what the Prophet was given in the power of boom, boom. What? It says that in Arabic? Yes, it says that in Arabic. And I challenge any Muslim to say, I am lying. It says that in Arabic. The name of the chapter, the prophet mentioning what the prophet was given in the power of boom, boom. I learned this uh, word in uh, was, uh, was in Asia. Uh, a woman, she approached me, said, Sir, do you want to do boom, boom? Uh, so what is that? Uh, boom, boom, sir. <laughs> this is the prophet of the boom, boom. Even his God gave him his... You see, we are talking about the privilege of the prophet. The prophet is the only one who receive a dish of shish kebab and the purpose is to give the power of Muhammad of boom, boom. The prophet of the boom. Very, very cool. The prophet was so cool. Very, very boom. I mean, look here. The prophet saying, and I read for you Muslims as it is in the screen. 
كنت من أقل الناس جماع في الناس في الجماع. I was the lowest person in world in the world in doing boom boom. Man, the prophet penis was like nothing. Will the prophet penis, based on this statement of his statement, will not move unless you you turn on the fan, and then it's going to like with the fan. You turn the fan off, the penis is. So Muhammad witnessing that he was the most weak person in Boom Boom. And then he invoked his God and his God he sent to him al Kufayt. And right away in less than 20 minutes, which is Sa, I found it and it was a dish full of meat. And I ate it and I got the power of 40 men. There's a Muslim in the chat is calling me a pig. Brother. Why you think I'm a pig, brother? The funny, the Muslims, they hate pigs. And yet, if we ask them a very little tiny question about pigs, they have no answer. As an example, Muhammad, he told them that the Messiah will come back and he will kill the pig. <coughs> Mean, why does God Allah he hate pigs so much? So in the end of the time, we will find the Messiah coming like a cowboy, and Mr. Pig he will face him, and he have two guns too. And the Messiah, the Muslim Messiah, not our Messiah, he will turn his back to the pig and he say, We shoot in the count of three. The Messiah Isa, he walk away from the pig, and the pig he walk away from Isa. But because the pig is a pig, he starts shooting before the time on the count of three. But guess what? The Messiah of Allah is so fast, he shoot the pig and he kill him. Now, if we ask the Muslims why the Messiah is coming to kill the pig, they have no idea. I mean, have you ever heard of a silly god like this? It's a stupid pig. God versus pig? What's your problem, Allah? If pig is a is a bad creature, why you create the pig? Leave the pig alone. <laughs> you know, they get angry from me, but they cannot answer me. And I understand because what I'm saying is very very painful and they have no answer for it no no don't call me christians don't call me i told you guys don't call me if you are a christian please don't do that i will block you you are disturbing me only only muslims can call me god he hate pigs christian prince the bible says don't eat pigs this was for a health issue Pigs, they grow in the field and they are by themselves. They eat dead bodies. They did eat dead animals. Pigs, they eat anything. It was for a health issue. But to make it as a special enmity between God and Mr. Pig, that's very silly and very stupid. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? He have something to say. Any Abdul? Do you notice how quiet they are? Okay, we go back now to Al Kufayt. As long as they will not call me and they will not finish the topic we started. Shall we? The privilege of the Prophet. Here it says that after uh, uh, the Prophet, he sent he sent an invoke to Allah. And the Prophet he ate it. 
I want to read for you what it says. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet of Allah the messenger of Allah pray may Allah pray on him and salute him. Jibril came to me. Let me highlight and those who speak Arabic from the Muslims they can follow with me and I challenge enough for you to say I'm lying. لقيني جبريل بقدر فأكلت منها. Jibril met me or came to me. With a dish, so I ate from it, and I was given the kufait. I was going the kufta. You know kufta, guys. Anyone, any one of you eat kufta before? Who of you eat kufta before? Anyone? Eat? Nobody ate kufta before. Okay, let me now. We discover a new benefit of the kufta. If the kufta is made by Allah, that will give you the power of forty men in boom boom. From now on, I am going to buy kufta only. Dirty, berry, berry, boom. Add the kufta to album. We will go to a restaurant and they will ask him, Do you have the food of boom? Dairy, dairy, boom. Kufta, kufta, boom. But you have to be careful, brother. You have to be sure that this is organic kufta coming from Allah, from the kitchen of Allah, not from the kitchen of the hummus guy. It have to be made by Allah. So look, the prophet, he invoked Allah and Allah, he went to his kitchen and Allah, he said to himself, hmm, my favorite prophet, his penis is suffering from a problem. How I can help him? The Muslim they say to us that of Allah he wants something he say B is going to be okay the Prophet have a problem and he pray to Allah to solve his problem what is the problem his penis cannot stand even for the anthem so what Allah he do he go to his kitchen he called Jibreel Jibreel Bring me some beef. Jibril, bring the beef. Mikael, bring me the knife. Mikael, bring the knife. Israel, bring me some bones. Israel, bring the bones. Israfil, bring me some zucchini. And now, okay, I want one genie. Go to India, bring me some spices. Hot, very hot spices will make the prophet penis go like crazy. Don't oh, be careful, not curry something very 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 hot and now allah in the kitchen he do make a special dish to the prophet and then he send it back with jibreel the delivery boy jibreel i feel sorry i'm so glad i am not doing the job of jibreel jibreel is humiliated is delivering food these days when i say to the muslims jibreel is the pizza boy they they say you are insulting it says in the front of you, he came back and he have a dish in his hand, dish of kufta. Do you see it? Now notice, not even a single Muslim there to call and to say to me, you are a liar. Where is the Muslims? Hmm? And then he says, and after he gave me the dish of shish kebab, I ate it and I got the power of 40 men in boom boom. Eww. Down here it says the following. You can, by the way, read my books, uh, especially the last ones, Six and Allah. Six and Allah, value number one and value number two, full of information like this. This is nothing but a snack. It says that the prophet he used to do boom boom in one night to all his nine wives. The prophet he can do boom boom to nine women, and not only that, 
He never take a break. Brother, if you don't believe that the prophet is a prophet, then how you can explain to me the power of his penis? It's a very clear evidence, brother and sisters. Uh, <clears throat> let us call Zach and Nike. Uh, 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 Dr. Zakir Naik, I told you, I told you 1,000 times, don't call me. Uh, brother, we have a question about medicine. It's very serious. Because we are Muslim and we are very merciful, I'm going to take and help you. What is the problem? Uh, brother, it says in the hadith that the Prophet was the most weak person in sexuality. And he invoked Allah and he sent a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel and after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Does that make sense to you? My friend, absolutely this doesn't make sense. It makes sex, not sense. As you see, the hadith is speaking, not speaking about making sense, it's speaking about a miracle. The Prophet, he invoked Allah and Allah, he went to his kitchen and he made a spittle food for the Prophet. It was, at that case, spittle shish kebab. Okay, so shish kebab. So if I eat shish kebab today, I will get the power of 40 men. Absolutely false. Because the shish kebab have to be made by Allah and delivered by Jibreel to be sure it is genuine. Okay, so if Jibreel deliver it, it's a genuine. If somebody else, like the pizza guy, something is false. Absolutely true. So we have to be sure that it's made by Allah and it said a thicker, the thicker said halal. I mean, I'm really convinced. Dr. Zach and Naik. Uh, uh, doctor, why the prophet after he ate it, he got the power of 40? What not? Why not 41? You are very stupid. And I tell you all what you are very stupid. You did not see in the old story, it said Alibaba and the 40 thief. Yes. Okay. Always there is a reason. They are 40 in all the stories. Because this is the perfect number. So the Prophet, he got the power of 40 men because he got the power of the 40 thieves which was with Alibaba. Oh. Uh, so the Prophet, he got the power of the 40 thieves. Absolutely. Because they are thieves, it's very well known that thieves are have a very special hygiene quality on sex. Boom, boom. And because of that, the Prophet, he got the power of 40 thieves who used to work with Alibaba. Okay. Well, I, I never thought about this before. Absolutely must be true. I told you, I invite you right now to convert to Islam and to say tahada. Uh, brother, can I invoke Allah and ask him to do something because I have the same problem as the prophet he do? Absolutely, you are a liar. And I know that you don't suffer from that problem. How you know? It's something private, sexuality. How you know I don't suffer from this problem? I can tell you from your voice. You are a liar and go call me again. And you are telling me that the Prophet of Allah is not a Prophet. What's wrong with you? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim have a comment? If I'm lying, call me. Get me busted in front. Hey, we got the reference in front of us. Look at them. Not a single Muslim he called. They give up. Look at this hadith here. The Prophet, he have a special privilege too. Have to do with his penis. Aisha, she said, Ma nadartu ila farji Rasulullahi qat. What? What? Those who speak Arabic, I'm sure they are dying from laughing. Aisha, she said, she never saw the prophet penis ever. I wonder what you are seeing. <laughs> Any Muslim here want to say I'm lying? Let me go ahead in front of you. What do you say? How 
how the wife of Muhammad she never saw the penis of her husband I will try to find the hadith for you in English <clears throat> because you know if we can find it in English that will be better for you you guys most of you don't speak Arabic and you know the Muslim they will say he's lying it's lying let us go here <clears throat> Do you see guys what it says? Aisha said, I never saw. Here they are saying the prophet private part. And notice here they are saying this is the if. But the fact it doesn't say that. This is in the commentary. It's false. Sunan Ibn Majah. I never looked, I never saw the prophet of Allah Messenger, Da'if. I think that Da'if here is you Muslims. Hmm. Anyway, uh, for sure always I mean you have to take into consideration that if you look at the private part of the Prophet of Allah there is some kind of uh, consequence you might go blind according to Muhammad and his followers when his mother she gave birth to him a light came from the vagina of his mother cover all the way reach all the way to Damascus If this is a light came from the vagina of his mother, can you believe how powerful the private part of Muhammad and what kind of light will come from there? And this is explained why Aisha, she never saw the private part of Muhammad. By the way, how somebody is married to a woman, he sleep with her, but yet she cannot see his private part. I will give you options. Either it's so small to the point you need a magnifier or Allah, he hide it or Muhammad he always do it under the blanket so she cannot see how in the world his wife she never saw it hello I mean she's his wife now <clears throat> I believe strongly that Muhammad he speak too much about sex because he have a sexual problem he asked women to give themselves to him because he cannot even have sex he just wanted to prove that he need a lot of women look what Muhammad wives they say the Prophet was born was once was bewitched so he began to imagine that he had done and in fact he did not like what like this the prophet continues for such and such a period imagining that he had boom boom with his wives but in fact he did not and now I understand why Aisha she never saw it because in fact he never do it I will try to keep the video short I think we cover many things about this man and I would like to see all of you downloaded this video this video will stay in my channel until maybe tomorrow after that we will take it down to be sure and to ensure that you guys are downloading and sharing there is no way anyone will see those videos and he will stay as a Muslim it doesn't matter how he reject it doesn't matter how he fight it 
it doesn't matter how he's kind of try to be stubborn I mean there is no way a human being he can accept such a thing so do we have any Muslim would like to call us to discuss this topic today anyone I know from the beginning the title of my video and the topic we speak about is very sensitive and there's no Muslim will call because they knew they cannot make it it's very simple Anyone? Last call, Mayday, Mayday. Nobody? All right. Well, look like with this, we are going to be done for today. So people, did you enjoy your time here? Did you learn? Did we learn how to expose this God? Did we learn how to show how silly, how stupid it is? Because you see, the problem is many of us can read the same text, but they cannot notice how stupid and silly. And here is my duty to show you how silly and stupid it is. We are made to be human. We are not cats or rats. And we don't hate the Muslims. Speak to Muslims. And ask them to use their brain. How in the world that can be a prophet? How you believe that somebody he cannot even be trustworthy? He imagined even his sex is not real. Even his sex is nothing but illusion. How I can trust him that he saw an angel? How I can trust him that he spoke to an angel? How I can trust him that he received Quran from someone? Obviously, there is nothing is called bewitched. The Arab always anyone have mental illness they call him bewitched and there's no doubt that Muhammad he is suffering from mental illness not only about sex he imagined his wife she said clearly he imagined that he has done things but in fact he never did never did I follow the most wise, the most intellect, the amazing name. His name is the Messiah. If you don't believe me, go and open and read any of his speeches. You will be astonished. And read the speeches of your prophet. You will be amused. The prophet who believe that women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace and their ribs and he made that a statement in the Quran he cannot be a prophet of God not only he asked for his own privilege he always asked for stupidity he don't hesitate to use and abuse an authority he claimed that it's coming to him from God and this is what all cult leaders do if you pay me God forgive you have you ever heard of a God they need a loan why God need a loan Look what Muhammad he said about science proving to us that he is absolutely a scientific a prophet and this is God is talking Quran chapter 86 verse number six and seven he is a creator from water gushing forth meaning sexual fluid that comes from breast uh, breasting for, uh, forth from the man and the women explain more please 
proceeding from the between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone and of the man and the ribs of the women how in the world that is God is talking women have a sperm and their sperm is coming from the location of the necklace in the ribs the only God who teach women have a breast testicle is Allah in the Quran Muhammad he said if you give me a loan and for sure I will not pay you back I will pay you back in heaven hmm? if you give me a loan Allah will double your reward and will forgive your sin have you ever heard of somebody promising you if you make a donation that your sin will be forgiven unless he is a scam here we go there is some people they just made a donation for me can I promise them heaven who am I and why does God he need money and if you give him money he promise you forgiveness and he will double your reward if you re lend into Allah a godly loan really I will pay you the interest double in heaven uh-huh and I will grant you forgiveness really so you are saying to me if I'm rich I can bribe Allah and give him money and that will make me granted forgiveness if you don't like this translation Abdul we can change it for you which translation you like I know that Muslims are translated translation sensitive the funny if it's my translation they will accuse me to be a liar if it's their translation they will not accept it if ye this is Yusuf Ali loan to Allah a beautiful loan there's a beautiful loan I want to take a beautiful loan to buy a house hmm. and I pay back the bank in heaven I will double your credit and he will grant you forgiveness a grant them forgiveness for giving you money forgiveness is a granted if we pay now I understand why they say in America no money no honey hello it is me you looking for if you pay Allah you will be forgiven hello and now all the Muslims they are putting their hands in their pocket they want to pay Allah once after once criminals killers thieves child molesters I mean why you want to you don't even need to repent give Allah alone it says I grant you forgiveness and this is a chapter 64 verse number 17 and by the way Muhammad he made many verses about giving Allah a mortgage Mimi hijab after he made a debate with that with, with the David Wood he recite this uh, uh, this verse here asking the Muslim to make uh, to give him money hello brothers and sisters as you see we are the one who defending the face brother and then he start reciting the Quran chapter 2 verse number 245 who who he give Allah alone a godly loan Allah will increase his mindfold hello scam scam and you cannot prove me wrong with this I want to say thank you our topic today was about the privilege of the Prophet of Allah which is privilege about his private part about his pocket about women's sex and about the booty and by the way I did not mention all the privilege as an example Allah he promised Muhammad a power of 4,000 men in heaven in sex which is really disappointing 4,000 men only I mean come on Allah this is a prophet of God and you give him a power of 40,000 men in heaven what he would do with it 
only what you will lose make it 80,000 make it 70 million only 4,000 men I think we should sign a petition against Allah for not being fair with the Prophet he got a power of 4,000 men in heaven look in earth it was 40 in heaven it is four thousands you remember the story of Alibaba and the 40 thieves what are you talking about 40 for 4,000 Trump he have the power of 4,000 uh, horses now go and see how, how many women they say they step with him I uh, come on like come on Allah this is a prophet this is not a Trump only four thousand. Why? It's not fair. This is the favor, the the best of mankind. I mean, what you will lose if you make it like okay? What about instead of four thousand, make it four thousand and one? I mean, why you are being cheap? I'm really, really disappointed about Allah and His being unjust and not fair. unbelievable thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and i hope we did not hurt the feeling of anybody but if we hurt your feeling invoke allah to send you a dish of shish kebab and you will get the power of 40 men and that will make you powerful so you can fight me thank you very much always cults expose itself we did not expose muhammad he exposed himself if muhammad was a decent man he will not ask for all those privilege but because he is a cult leader he cannot hesitate resist the temptation of the devil for he worked for him follow those who ask you no wages this is what the quran says and we prove it that muhammad he broke that command from allah supposedly and yet he claimed that Allah is the one who gave him the privilege of money and sex and power and penises. How that can be from God? This is a question I will leave it to the Muslims and feel free to answer it. And I will see you again next time. I'm very disappointed Muslims did not call today, but maybe next time they will have the courage to call me and to prove me wrong. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is false and see you soon again. Bye-bye.